Hello everybody, welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Doctor Who, The Essential Terran Sticks, Volumes 1 and 2. So here they are, two wonderfully chunky thick books full of the works of the amazing Terran Sticks. So we've got Volumes 1 and Volume 2. Volume 1 features the stories Doctor Who and the Dalek Invasion of Earth, The Abominable Snowmen, The Wheel in Space, The Autumn Invasion and The Day of the Daleks with a foreword by Frank Cottrell Boyce. Volume 2 features Doctor Who and the Genesis of the Daleks, The Pyramids of Mars, The Talongs of Wen Chiang, The Horror of Fang Rock and The Five Doctors with a foreword by Robert Webb. The covers to the books are very simplistic, just basically giving you the contents of the books themselves. I do like the fact that when you turn them around, they go together to make up the Target logo though, that's a nice touch. And on the back, on volume one, you've got a quote from Frank Cottrell Boyce, and on the second volume, a quote from Terence Dix himself. The quote from Frank Cottrell Boyce says, Terence Dix believed that children deserve the very best, and if you gave them the best, they would grow up to give their best. He was prepared to go without praise and prestige himself, just to make sure we got the best. And that's a really nice quote from his foreword. And the quote on volume two is from Terence himself. And it says, I think if you can get a kid reading for pleasure, not because it's work, but actual reading for pleasure, it's a great step forward. It can start with me, you know, start with Dick's and work its way up to Dickens, as long as you get them reading. And I think that's a wonderful quote from Terence Dick's. Terence Dix wrote over 60 Doctor Who target novels in his lifetime, so how did they decide which ones to include? Well, in November 2019, BBC Books launched a social media campaign called the World Cup of Terence Dix, basically asking fans to vote for the stories they wanted included in these two volumes. And to be fair, I think we've ended up with a good selection of stories. In Volume 1, we get some great stories featuring the first, second and third Doctor, on Volume 2, four of the five stories feature the Fourth Doctor. And don't get me wrong, they're great stories and I love the Fourth Doctor. I just wish we could have mixed it up a bit as this does feel very Fourth Doctor heavy and it would have been nice to have seen some of the other Doctor's stories included. But the fans have spoken and these are the stories they've chosen and I have to say they've picked some absolutely classic stories to be included. Now I do own and have read some of the original Target books that are included in these volumes. So we've got Dalek Invasion Earth, Auton Invasion, Day of the Daleks, Genesis of the Daleks, Pyramids of Mars, Talons and Five Doctors. All great and it's lovely to have them included here in these two volumes. But there is one story in particular in this set which I'm very pleased about. One that's evaded me for years. And this is of course The Wheel in Space. For years it's been out of print and so hard to get hold of and if you do own a copy you could probably sell it for a good few pennies on eBay. So I'm so glad it's finally got a well deserved reprint and has been included in this collection. I don't know about you but whenever I buy a hardback book I'm always curious to see what they look like without their dust jackets on. So this one's a kind of mustardy yellow colour with the Dot 2 logo on the spine in gold. And Volume 2's ooh, this nice red colour. Yeah, they do look nice. So popping the dust jackets back on and what you have here are two collections featuring 10 absolutely stellar Doctor Who stories, some of the absolute best in fact. It goes without saying that Terence's writing is superb, he manages to flesh out and bring to life the stories in such an easy to read and enjoyable manner that they will appeal to both adults and children alike. The full words by Frank Cottrell Boyce and Robert Webb are both touching and amusing to read and they provide a nice introduction to the start of each book. A couple, but not many, of the original Target books had pictures in, which sadly haven't been included this time round. It's a shame, but not really a big deal. The recommended retail price for each book is £25, but it's worth shopping around. Amazon, for example, are currently selling them for around £16 each. Terence Dix passed away on the 29th of August 2019 at the age of 84 and left behind an incredible legacy of work. I was lucky enough to meet Terence a couple of times over the years at various book signings and conventions and he was exactly as you'd imagine him to be. A lovely gentle man with a very cheeky dry sense of humour and a real twinkle in his eye. One thing's for sure, he absolutely loved the fans and he adored Doctor Who and therefore I'm thrilled that BBC Books have released these in his honour because when it came to Target Books, Uncle Terence was the governor. So what we have here are two great collections of some of his best love stories. Ah, oh, Terence is very much missed, but two lovely collections of his stories, and I really do hope we get more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do check out The Geek's Handbag on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget, I also do a weekly Doctor Who podcast with Gary that goes every Friday called 
the Big Blue Box podcast, so do give that a listen. But until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.